Here is a series of hills and valleys. The height of the terrain H is a function of X and Y. At a particular point, we want to know the slope of the hill in the X direction and the slope of the hill in the Y direction. If you step along the X axis without changing the Y coordinate, then instead of a derivative with respect to X, this is said to be a partial derivative with respect to X. The one dimensional d dx becomes the partial with respect to x. The slope of the hill in the y direction, keeping x constant, is the partial derivative with respect to y. Partial derivatives are calculated as easily as our regular derivatives. For example, if h is a function of x, y, and z, and h equals 3x squared y cubed z to the fourth, then the partial of h with respect to x is 6x y cubed z to the fourth. When we take the partial derivative, we treat this 3 as a constant, and we also treat y and z as constants. The partial of h with respect to y is this 3 times this 3 makes 9 the y cubed becomes a y squared. x and z are both constants, so we have 9x squared y squared z to the fourth. And the partial h with respect to z is 12x squared y cubed z cubed. While it is mental agony to divide two numbers, like 12.2 over 16.7, it is effortless to take derivatives. In your math course, you'll learn accurate definitions of partial derivatives. Here in physics and engineering, we just want to know how to operate them.